So what we'll do is let's actually walk over here real quick. I want to show you the inside so we can see how everything's laid out because again, we never even see this. Before. Oh yeah, you gotta get this cut. Now the wood obviously is just something that's in there for walking on the tank, but if you look underneath that, you can see where the gray tank is here. And you see now the wedge. Now I want you to realize, I want you to look at the difference in thickness of the gray tank. running all the way down. It's a three inch shot uh, ABS uh, piping all the way down. Now I want you to notice as well that close proximity of the, um, the duct work off of the furnace to most of your main water connections. So that's what prevents you know freezing in the, in the Oliver whenever you see people, you see the pictures of people camping in Alaska um, in very cold weather. They're in there running their furnace. They're nice and toasty in the cabin and, and the water is well not freezing. Exactly right. <laughs> See that? Uh, it's like a system of aluminum tubing from underneath that square piece down. That's what's holding up like 400 pounds of battery. That's what keep, that's what's keeping that uh, that battery box from flexing too hard and creating cracks either in the box or on the outer fascia yeah, of the exactly going. right. So that that prevents that from happening. And you can also see right there next to your hand is that overflow for the fresh tank. Right. That'll come out right through that through hole adapter. And, um, you know, frame bracket, frame mounting brackets. This is what mounts the, the lower shell to the frame. You see you have one here, one there, one there, and then there's two in the rear. There's a total of seven carriage molds. Can you try to get all of those locations? Just a quick, just two seconds of each one. There's one there. There's one up here in the front. If you go straight down, you can see that plate with the mold in it. This one has a lug on it for the grounding. Uh, you notice, uh, Matt, the ground bar is right here next to this bracket. I do. And that is going to be connected to that lug that's on this uh, frame bracket here. So you can see that. Now, the other points of, um, of connecting this lower shell to the frame are going to be your actual jack brackets that are doubling as frame brackets as well. So if you look right here, you can see your two rear jacks installed, right. and you've got, like I said, two carriage bolts that are dropped down through that, and then that's also holding everything together back here. Nice. So like right here, there's a clamshell. See that? Yeah. If you go from the inside and you look right in here, underneath the uh, plumbing here, you can see oh, yeah. the screened off. Got it. And there's 13 of those underneath the trailer and all, all in strategic uh, locations. So that way, if there is any kind of water buildup from, let's say you had a, a leak in your plumbing and you had water filling up in there, the great thing about this insulation is it's a radiant, I mean, I'm sorry, it's a vapor barrier. So just like it stops condensation, it doesn't allow water from a leak to pool up on it and create mildew and mold. It's going to allow that water to run right off of it into one of those weep holes and out of the trailer not causing any damage to the trailer or any health risk from the, mi the mildew in the mold. So, Never know. Yeah. <laughs> so you got your uh, outside shower here. Nice long. People will uh, put this up on a like a 3M command hook or something. Once you depress that, it's hands free. So if you're out in the boondocks, uh, nobody's around. If you want to take a shower outside, that's your prerogative. <laughs> or if you just want to um, clean off your dogs or your boots or something like that. I guess that's the more PG version of it. <laughs> the propeller? Yeah. I was telling her if you saw the video, you saw, probably already heard my cheesy joke of this I'm thing. Like an optional propeller.